beginning of anything uh, troubling today uh, in terms of how far everything has come and, and you know, it's a Monday, but it is a new year and uh, you know, we're coming off all time highs, but some of the leadership, you know, some of the biggest leaders seem to be the ones pulling back today. Is, that, is this the beginning of something? Uh, we don't. We don't think so, Joe. I mean, as we look at the, um, the the backdrop right now for equities, we think economists are still underestimating the level of GDP that we saw in the fourth quarter, and we're going to see in 2021. We, we think we're, we're still seeing underestimation of what the power of the stimulus is doing and is going to do, both monetary and fiscal. Uh, so we think you're going to see some dramatic revisions upward. So that's that's a positive number one. If and when that happens, and we think it will, that tells you there's a good chance you'll see earnings revisions go higher also. And then, you know, there's just a strong underpinning. The consumer is actually in good shape. We've got strong disposable income. We've got tremendous savings rate, $1.4 trillion in savings, Joe. And we got this pent up demand that we think in the second half of the year, on top of the stimulus, both monetary and fiscal. When people are able to spend, we call it re re revenge spending. That's kind of the new term out there. Um, you're going to see a big lift in the second half of the year. You put all, the, all that together, and it's a pretty good backdrop for equity, we believe. Well, I mean, we could spend and spend and stimulate and stimulate uh, f forever, uh, Keith. But so sooner or later, it just seems like that that's not a lasting way to, uh, to run an economy. Do you, do you, are you a, a make me chase, just, just not right now? Uh, kind of guy. I mean, this will this will work for a while. It, it, any comeuppance down the road? Any day of reckoning when if rates go up or I don't know, paint the scenario that could potentially happen. Yeah. No. Look, I, I think as part of this, Joe, we we expect to see long dated rates move higher. We think what's going to come with this also will be inflation, um, which we partly why we'll see you know long dated rates. We think to move to as high as one one and a half percent by the end of this year. So I think initially it's going to be a very positive thing. The other big driver we think, Joe, will be flows. I mean, the last two years, 94% of the flows have been into fixed income. So as rates move up, we think that'll be another good catalyst. But to your point, you know, depending on what kind of additional stimulus we see this year, and it's pretty clear we're going to see more, um, and at what level does, does inflation become a problem? But between right. here and there, we do think the market can lift further and the environment will stay positive. All right, Keith. Those are soothing words as we now are down 300, <laughs> though. So we'll see. Anyway, thanks. We appreciate you there, uh, Joe. coming on today. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.